Today on TCAP Recipes, I have a very special guest with me that will help us make Cordville chicken pot pie. Why don't you have a seat? While I'm waiting for my guest, I'm going to go over the ingredients that you're going to need for Cornville chicken pot pie. Oh, he must be here already. Welcome to the show, Lorny. We were just going over the ingredients, but let me ask you a question. Are you anxious to make Cornville chicken pot pie? <laughs> I haven't had a kiss yet. Um, okay. Why don't we just set the oven to 350 degrees? Yeah, we'll do that. I want to kiss first. Why don't we chop up one big ass sweet potato, followed by three or four carrots, and add this big bag of frozen peas first, Lorne? <laughs> Are you nervous? Maybe a little. A little bit not as bad as what you thought you would be. Not as bad. I'd rather open up one big ass can of cream of chicken soup and then add one cup of heavy creamer and mix them in my copper chef pan. Lordy, can you take over from there? I gotta go bathroom. So, I'll clear something else up for you, too. I will get my chat log together. And I will show you the places that, it, that I said no in that oh, chat log. Luckily, it was a false alarm. How's everything going, Lorne? God damn it, dude. You had too much spice, man. Well, yell at me, why don't you? <laughs> now add all the vegetables, followed by the tendies. And let it simmer in your copper chef or a pan of your choice for about 20 minutes on medium heat. Now go ahead and open up the canned biscuits. Gently lay the biscuits on top. Put them in about 15 minutes. It's like that. Now you have Cordville chicken pot pie. Leaving so soon? You didn't even get a chance to try the Cornville chicken pot pie. <laughs> another blow to Lorne. This is yet another meal that pairs up perfectly with Lorne's weak-ass coffee. It's also a perfect meal for that doctor or therapist in your life. Especially if they have a horse stink. <laughs> <laughs>